All right, hey guys. <clears throat> um, yeah, so this is the engine out of my MX-5. I know last week I was uh, doing some power steering and aircon removal on it. And as you can see, the aircon and power steering are now gone. But um, yeah, I've got a bit of an issue with the engine. Um, I think cylinder two, I think the piston rings have gone on it. Did a compression test and only had 102 PSI, 105 PSI um, in this cylinder and about 150, 175 in the rest. So um, I think the Nurburgring ring might have killed it slightly. Um, so I've taken the engine out. I'm going to go pick up a new engine later on this evening. Um, unfortunately, I won't be able to get the car back on the road because um, so I've got to go back to work um, tomorrow. So I'm going to have to leave it here and get the train back and then um, hopefully finish it off on the weekend but uh, yeah it's uh, it's not very good my clutch this is only three months old um, I know it's a bit older than that actually we, went through and we just started May haven't we okay it's about four months old and uh, there's not a, lo a lot of material left on there it's nearly on the rivets um, this is a stage three six puck paddle clutch um, I don't know whether to put this one in the new engine or not um, I kind of want to put a new one in it, but at the same time, I can't really afford to. Um, there's the pressure plate, which actually doesn't look too bad. And there's the flywheel. It's a lightened aluminium flywheel, also by XTD. So yeah, I'm just, uh, I've just taken the gearbox off and just taking the clutch and flywheel off. And uh, God. I'm just about to take the sump off because I need the sump for the new engine because it's got... Um, the oil return for the turbo. Um, I need to take the, the rocker cover off because I want this rocker cover because it's painted nice uh, wrinkle black. Um, I need to take the injectors out because these are from an RX-8 so I need those on the other engine. Um, I'm going to take the cam belt and water pump off because I only did those last month so uh, it's, the cam belt and water pump are only a month old so I'm going to reuse them off this engine. Uh, I need the, this throttle body because it's got the variable throttle position sensor on it. And that's about it. So I need to start all taking all of that off and then I'm going to go pick my engine up tomorrow. No, um, tonight, sorry. Tomorrow I'm going to fit all of the stuff from this engine onto the other one. So I want to try and get as much of this stripped off as I can um, before picking up the engine tonight. And then uh, get the engine ready to be put in on the weekend. And uh, maybe by the end of next weekend have it back on the road and I'll have to go and get it remapped. Um, I've got a new turbo actuator which hopefully should be coming tomorrow um, because mine is weak so I've ordered this bit here just just the actuator because mine is requiring a lot of uh, duty from the electronic boost control to keep this at 12 pounds of boost um, and it should be able to do that at like 60% duty and mine's requiring like 90 so Replace that while I'm at it and get it because if I replace that, I need to get it remapped anyway. Um, so I may as well get the new engine mapped and the actuator mapped at the same time. So, yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know what I'm up to. Um, yeah, I didn't really want to be doing this, but unfortunately, the car was smoking really bad, um, so I knew something was wrong. And I uh, thought it was valve stem seals, but it looks like it's definitely the rings. Um, I might rebuild this engine, put some forge rods and pistons in it, depending on how good the bores are. Um, but that won't be till the end of the year. And then I can get a, a slightly bigger turbo and get some more power out of it. Probably aim for about 330 horsepower. Uh, at the moment it's about 240 horsepower set up, so another 100 horsepower won't hurt. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it guys. Uh, I'll let you guys know on the progress, probably make another video next weekend when I'm putting the engine back in. Yeah, so see you in a bit. Bye.